Hey Aries, I'm Witchy Tiff. I'm going to bring you a reading for the week ahead. We're going to see what you and your person have going for the week of January 18th to January the 24th. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you have on my channel. If it resonates, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It sends an energetic donation out to me. If you would like a personal reading or if you would like to donate to the channel, all my information is down in the description box. Now, I tried for like the last 30 minutes to light the candles for your reading, and like I couldn't get them. And I guess Spirit is saying I need some new candles. <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, Aries. It's for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it doesn't resonate, check the other birth, birth placements in your chart. This will not resonate for everyone as this is a general reading, okay? Let's get right into it, Aries. Um, when I was pre-shuffling, the song that came on for you is, I forget what it was called, but it's about somebody finally letting their wall down and giving somebody their heart, okay? Somebody is really taking a chance on love here, I feel like, but let's see, what, let's see, what about Aries person? Thank you, Spirit. Accept that challenges are the best way to learn and freedom. Okay, what about Aries over here, Spirit, Ancestors, and Guides? What about the Aries? Thank you and thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, and let's see, let's see, let's see for the Aries, let's see for the Aries. Because this is going opposite of what the song went with. Let's see, let me clarify with the mutual energy, Spirit, thank you. Mutual energy, thank you. See what we got. Oh, love and worry. Okay, love. There's definitely a lot of love between you and this person, okay? So, somebody felt like this relationship, this connection was just too challenging. Now, take it how it resonates. You can be this person, Aries, um, or you can be this person over here. Flip it and reverse it, Okay. So somebody felt like this relationship was too much, okay? There was just way too much going on, way too much drama, way too many challenges in this relationship, in this connection. So they really decided to free themselves from something. I feel like this is you. I feel like um, somebody is, yeah, it was just way too much. So somebody stepped away and freed themselves from the situation, okay? So this other person over here, they are definitely living in regret. You have the regret and the death card. So I feel like this situation, a connection recently ended, okay? And it has this person who was causing this drama within this connection to really, really be wallowing in pity, okay? They're thinking about the past. They can't stop thinking about it. Um, because with love and worry, they're worried, you know, they worry that they hurt somebody that they really care about. I feel like they were the reason that the, this ending happened in this relationship. Okay. But this person, I feel like is really wishing that they could change the past and they want to come in and start over. They want to start over. They feel like, okay, I had to learn these lessons so I can come in and start back with Aries the way I'm supposed to start. I definitely feel like this is you. I definitely feel like this is your person, okay? So that's how I'm going to read it or reverse it if that's what you need to do. But this person is regretting what they did. They're regretting it. They're realizing that they were the fuck up and they want to start over, okay? But this person just feels like this. I feel like this is you. It was just too much and you're just kind of like, no, no, okay? I feel like though... There definitely needs to be some honesty here. I feel like you need to speak about your feelings, really open up, because I feel like there is a lot of love here for this in this connection. There is a magnetic soul tie here, okay? And I feel like you both help each other grow, spiritually and emotionally. You guys both help one another grow, and that's why you guys both need to honestly discuss how you feel, Get it out on the table. Stop worrying about um, this conversation, okay? Let's see, though. What's this person over here? Oh, my gosh, Spirit. How creepy, right? This person already has freedom over here. Now, look. Didn't I say that somebody's trying to free themselves? Whew. Okay. Yeah. 
just way too many challenges i think even if this person comes back through aries and lets you know that they've changed and they want to start over that you're just like no it was too much it's just too much ask the question tippy okay let's see for freedom spirit ancestors and guides what do we got oh my gosh look for freedom release your ex yeah you are letting go. You are letting go of this person. You are letting go of this situation because you just feel like you can't trust them anymore, okay? For a long time, you worked on it. You worked on this situation, but now you're just at the point where it's like, no, I've gave you too many chances. I've tried over and over with you. You constantly bring drama on. And so I am definitely, you're definitely um, releasing this person aries let's see about your person over here though let's see about aries this person thank you spirit mm -hmm. see they want they're regretting this if you could have a family situation with this person you can have children with this person and they know if not you know then this is just somebody that really really wants to come in and heal with you they really regret the fact that they not only hurt you but they hurt hurt everybody around you guys okay and they want to they're like okay they're they're like i know i messed up in the past but i'm willing to do what it takes you see but pay attention to the red, red flags they this person might still have things going on they might still be over here you know in this same energy they haven't learned completely that they have you know to grow up okay that's just what i heard to grow up okay and so even though they might come in wanting this new beginning and claiming that they've changed i feel like you just really still don't trust them you know that they're full of shit and you're still ready to go let's see mutual energy spirit very soon play yeah because you feel like you feel like this person is a player like regardless of what they say and do you feel like this person's a player let's see mutual energy spirit Mutual energy, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Thank you. Let's see what that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're both very, very passionate about each other, okay? you. This is a relationship where the chemistry was like magnetic. It was off the charts. Probably had some really bomb-ass sex. You know what I'm saying? The relationship was great. You had prayed for this person to get their shit together. You prayed because you love this person. You feel a magnetic soul tie to this person. And you prayed for them to get their shit together. You prayed for them to get better, right? And they didn't, right? So you are releasing them. But now they're, they're realizing that you're their person. And now they're trying to come in and make things right. Now they're calling you in. Now the roles have reversed, right? But mutually, I think even though you're trying to free yourself, you still want to give this person a chance because you love this person. But the problem is you've given them chance after chance after chance. So now it's like, what do I do? I'm just running around in circles. And this person is now ready to work on this partnership all of a sudden now that you, you're, they see that you're actually freeing yourself from them. Now they want to come in. Now they want to work on it, right? But see, look, at the bottom, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I, but I don't feel like, I feel like you're ready to move towards a new love. You're ready to go towards something that's going to be fulfilling towards you. I feel like since this is under the deck, I feel like this person is trying to come in with a new way of loving you. But at this point, you've just kind of given up. I do feel like you do love this person. I feel like you probably would give them another chance. But at this point, you just kind of know that it's best to move on right see it's just not the right time you know this person has some things that they still have to work through some lessons that they still have to learn okay so that's confirmation so if you are trying want to give them you do want to give them another chance this is spirit saying it's just not the right time okay they have some more growing to do oh my gosh spirit come through this is creepy okay this this whole reading is creeping me out the spirit is strong it just said not the right time and, and then look, choose a new direction and let go. Spirit, okay, come through. You guys can't be any more clear. 
If you're deciding that you want to give this person another chance, Spirit is saying, no, no, don't do it. This is not the right time. They still have some lessons to learn. So you need to choose a new direction and focus on somebody else and let this person go. Let's see about your person, Spirit. Yeah, see, within the next few months, I feel like um, it, this, this has been going on. Yeah, see, this has been going on for quite a, quite some time, a couple of months, you know, and I feel like they're still going to keep trying to come in and heal with you, heal it with you for the next couple of months also, and you're just going to be like, no, 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 you know, they're going to be begging you, please take me back, you know, anything they can to get you to say yes, but spirit is urging you to tell this person no, no. See, they're going to come in, they're going to try to romance you, they're going to like be communicating clearly, oh, I'm sorry, I messed up, I love you, I'll do anything that I can to get you back, see, but that's under, you know, because they're trying to be like, oh, Aries is ending it, now I need to try to start this new beginning, but Spirit is saying, pay attention to those red flags, this person is full of shit, they're going to come in, try to romance you, sweep you off your feet, uh, sex you down, but look, no, Spirit is saying you have to stay in your energy. You have to tell this person, no, let's get some mutual energies. Okay, yeah, see, they're, they're asking about you. They're trying to see what you got going on. But while you're asking people like, hell, I'm trying to move on. Help me get away, see? And what this is going to do, you, you this is going to make you improve your health. You're mentally going to start feeling better. You're physically, physically going to start feeling better. And this is also going to help this person improve. Okay, you you telling this person no, it's definitely going to help this person improve, okay? Because they have to learn some things, right? You're ready. You're ready, okay? Let's see. Let's see what we got here for Tarot. Let's see what your person... Do I have them backwards? Yeah, we're going to try this again. Okay, for Aries, this person, Spirit. I mean, for Aries. Yeah, see, look, you're healing... Okay, you're taking some time out for yourself. This is what Spirit is saying. Even if you want this person back, it's just not the right time. You have to let go for right now, okay? You need to do some healing. You need to rest. You need to focus on yourself. Yeah, okay? Let this person take action towards you for once, okay? Let this person chase after you for a little while. exactly see work on yourself this is saying spend some time alone spend some time talking to source spend some time getting some direction on what you should do and this is somebody working on themselves the page the i mean the knight of pentacles that's somebody that's working on themselves trying to lay a, a foundation okay this is you being practical but patient okay and this is you talking to source, really trying to figure out what to do. But that's the best thing for you right now, okay? That's, that is the best thing for you. See, and then here you have this person is over here. They're thinking about you, okay? This is the, here we got the Knight of Wands, player energy. This person was most likely a player, in and out, promising you things that they couldn't uphold. Sexy, passionate, probably had some damn good sex is what I'm feeling within y'all. You know, Aries, y'all are already magnetically fired. So with this Six of Cups, all they're doing is thinking about you. They're reminiscing. They're thinking about everything. I'm telling you with this regret, this person is living in deep sorrow. They are hurting behind this. But you have to let them hurt for a little while, Aries. You have to, okay? Because this person is still in this player energy. Even though they're thinking about you, this, pers this person still got some shit going on. This is reconciliation. They're thinking about you. They want to come back to you, okay? But this is you being cold, okay? They see that you're cold. They see that you're distant. They see that you're not giving it, giving like you used to, okay? They, you turn their, your back on this. You turn your back on this soulmate connection because you know that it's not the right time for you to be together. I'm sensing twin flame, chaser, running. I definitely sense this is a very strong connection with calling in your soulmate. I just feel like it's just not the right time right now. So you're distancing yourself from this, from this two of cups, okay? 
because you know what what this does because this is destined you look you're gonna be together but this is gonna what's gonna cause a passionate new beginning to this relationship this is what this relationship and connection needs right now okay that's what's gonna bring victory to this connection and to this relationship and this happiness this ten of cups energy this is what's gonna fulfill you but spirit is saying you got to take these steps see you got to close off your heart chakra to this person for a little while aries you got to stand in your power okay that's what's going to bring this balance that's what's going to make it to where you win you finally get what you deserve here this is the justice okay that you oh so deserve you're going to do a lot of contemplating you're going to do a lot of thinking because spirit spirit gave this person something that was so divine and they turned it turned away from it. They kept hurting it, right? So now it's time for you to turn away from it, okay? Heal yourself for a little while. Oh my God, see? The river of tears. Yes, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt, okay? But I feel like this is your person. Your person is deeply, deeply in regret. They're at the river of tears. They feel like they have spilled every cup they've come across. They've hurt everybody they come across. And now they've hurt the most important thing to them. But they're just not realizing, what did we just have? That two of cups, right? That two of cups, it's, it's right behind them. Somebody that's always been there. They All they have to do is turn around and give in, right? But you're going to work on yourself for a little while, Aries. You're just going to be single and independent and work on yourself. And see, that's really, that's another thing that's going to hurt them and make them sad. Because they're going to see that you're, you can move on. You're going to be okay without them, right? But see, this, the, you walking away, look. Look, you walking away from them is what's going to bring this relationship into calmer waters. Where it was once tur once turbulent, this is what's going to bring this spark back. You walking away. I feel like this is somebody that walked away because this is two. This is two walking away cards. This is somebody done. Done. Okay? And you're at this point... Where you're fucking, you're just, excuse my language, you're just done with this person. No matter what they say, no matter how hard they try to come in and seduce you, you're just done. You're, you're at this point where you know that it's time to give this up. Let's get one more card and then we'll wrap this up for the Aries. Thank you. Yep. Yep. This person will be coming in with an apology. Okay. But this is you right now doing what's best for you. This is you following your heart. Okay. Um, because you know you're worth way more than what you were getting there. And that in turn is going to make this person follow their heart and give up that bullshit that they had going to come in and sweep you off your feet and give you this romantic proposal and this love that you also deserve. Yeah, see? Oh my gosh, we got the death card there. We got the death card at the bottom. See, this ending is merely a beginning this is what's going to restart this relationship stronger than ever. This strong, stable. See, this is what's going to make this person stable, grounded, mature. This is what's going to make this person grow the fuck up. Yep. And close out those cycles that you have been in over and over and over. So you can start a strong, powerful cycle with one another. All right? All right, Aries. I love you guys. If it resonated, like, subscribe, comment, share. Until next time. Peace.